brings refreshing. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the time of refreshing has come from the presence of the Lord. Acts 3, verse 19. The third angel's message is swelling into a loud cry, and you must not feel at liberty to neglect the present duty and still entertain the idea that at some future time you'll be recipients of great blessings, when without any effort on your part, a wonderful revival will take place. Today you are to give yourselves to God, that he may make of you vessels unto honor and meet for his service. Today you are to give yourselves to God, that you may be emptied of self, emptied of envy, jealousy, evil surmising, strife, everything that shall be dishonoring to God. Today you are to have your vessel purified, that it may be ready for the heavenly dew, ready for the showers of the latter rain. For the latter rain will come, and the blessings of God will fill every soul that is purified from every defilement. It is our work today to yield our souls to Christ, that we may be fitted for the time of refreshing from the presence of the Lord, fitted for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. God has not revealed to us the time when this message will be close or when probation will have an end. It is our duty to watch, work, and wait, to labor every moment for the souls of men who are ready to perish. We are to keep walking continually in the footsteps of Jesus, working in his lines, dispensing his gifts as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. The word of God reveals the fact that the end of all things is at hand, and its testimonies is most decided that it is necessary for every soul to have the truth planted in the heart so that it will control the life and sanctify the character. The Spirit of the Lord is working to take the truth of the inspired, the Word, and stamp it upon the very soul that the professed followers of Christ will have a holy, sacred joy that they will impart to others. Our only safety is in being ready for the heavenly refreshing, having our lamps trimmed and burning. Day by day we are to seek the enlightenment of the Spirit of God, that it may do its office work upon the soul and the character.